my god. There's a little birdie. <sighs> I love you. Hi everyone, welcome back to Pavanine Studios Beauty and Art. My name is Amy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be doing a kind of a what I got for Christmas uh, and shoe and boot haul and jewelry haul. Um, so I have some things from the rack. I have some things from Ross. Um, and I have some presents that I got um, from my sisters-in-law, Rebecca and Rose. And uh, as well as a few things that I got uh, on my own. Um, there were a couple weeks there that I was going to the rack where they had really terrific jewelry and I've already shared some of those and I will try to remember to link um, those haul videos up above or in the description box or something. I did film this look so if you are interested in it it is already up and uh, I will link that as well in case you want to see how I achieved this look. Anyway, if you are new here, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your time here. If you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I tend to do more fun and colorful and dramatic looks on my channel. And I also love really dramatic jewelry and clothes and things like that. I've always been that way. So this is not something that I'm doing just for my channel. Um, it's just that now I get to share it with somebody besides my husband who just rolls his eyes. We're going to start with the jewelry, so I'm going to scooch in and I will show you the things that I got um, for my gifts and also the things that I picked up at the rack recently and then I will move into the shoes and boots um, part of this video. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that I got from my sister-in-law Rose was she sent me, she sent me three things, which I think she was only supposed to send me one thing for because she drew my name for the Christmas exchange, but uh, she sent me four things, uh, three of which were jewelry. So the first thing she sent me was this bracelet and it's really pretty. It's got a druzy right here and some glass beads and it's got a magnetic closure on it and there are rhinestones and it's a beautiful I wore it on Christmas Day because it went with the top that I was wearing but it's super pretty it's one of the wrap style ones and uh, I'm thrilled with it I think it's just lovely I love earrings and bracelets those are definitely like my favorite things and the things that I seldom forget to put on but uh, yeah super 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 pretty thank you Rose <laughs> One of the pairs of earrings that she sent me, I have already worn in a video, but I'm going to go ahead and, and put them on for you. They are these um, sort of copper color chain type earrings, rose gold color, and they're really, really pretty. They're um, very sort of shiny and and they're all metal, and so I, I don't know, I kind of like that. And I don't really think I've got too many of these sort of rose gold type of earrings like this kind of color. I have a few but not very many and I like that they're really really sparkly and um, but there's no there's no like rhinestones so I feel like these would be super easy to dress up or down either way. The other pair of earrings that she sent me are these really pretty uh, beaded woven beaded type earrings and they're really pretty. I used to make earrings like this a lot, like back in the 90s and stuff. And so I have quite a few pairs of ones that I've made myself and ones that I also bought before I learned how to make them myself. So I really like this style of earring uh, just in general. And I love the color of these. Um, I like the white and then the sort of earthy brown colors in, in them. And they will go with a ton of things that I have like to wear with because I, I wear a lot of this kind of this kind of color. So aren't they pretty and I like how long they are and they've got some weight to them. And a lot of times you, if you buy earrings like this like 
especially if they're really cheap. <laughs> um, they tend to be kind of, I don't know, they don't hang right. Uh, that was something that I always endeavored to, when I made my own, to make them hang pretty. Make them, give them a little bit of, of weight so that they would hang really nice, as opposed to being like sort of splayed out and kind of wonky looking. But I really love these. I can't wait to wear these. These are going to be fantastic in the spring, especially. Um, and they're going to look great with white and denim. And I, I can just, I can envision all kinds of, of stuff um, that will look good with these earrings. For the next pair of earrings, um, these are from my sister-in-law, Rebecca. And I have worn these particular earrings in a video already. Now she purchased these for me from a shop on Etsy that sells uh, Indian jewelry. And if you didn't already know, my, my sister Rebecca, my sister Rebecca, I call her my sister. My sister-in-law Rebecca is Indian. And so um, we have like developed our love for Indian jewelry kind of alongside each other in the last few years. And uh, I just think these are super pretty and that they, I've already worn these, I think three times, three or four times, because I feel like they go with everything or very nearly everything. In fact, I was going to wear them today with a dress that I purchased at Old Navy that is really cute. It's just like a little gray, sort of a Swiss dot, um, has an elastic waist and kind of a round neckline and it's short. And I put it on this morning, and very strangely, it doesn't hang right. It, it hangs crooked. I tried adjusting it and all kinds of things to, to no avail. So, uh, you know, who knows what that's about. Okay, so the next pair of earrings that she gave me were these. really pretty. I like the yellow or kind of marigold color. Marigolds are a big, a big cultural thing in India. Lots of uh, um, like events and celebrations and, and things like that involve marigolds. I'm not that up on it, but uh, I sure do like, I like marigolds in general anyway. They're, for me, they're one of those flowers that my grandma always had in her yard and my mom and and stuff and so you know I appreciate it from from my own personal history <laughs> standpoint and then just the idea that there is a, a culture or cultures out there that also like marigolds and and work them into their events and their celebrations and their rituals and things I just think is really cool and what I like about these is that they have these pearl um, clusters and stuff on them. And I just think they're really, I don't really wear a lot of pearl jewelry. I don't have a lot. I have a few things. So I'm thrilled to have these because I like this little, like little tiny clusters of, of pearls. <laughs> they're not real pearls, of course, but... And then um, I like the, the blue and the red in the center as well. I just think these are going to be super versatile. And uh, they're kind of dressy, but, you know, that's all right. I'm all about the dressy earrings. If you guys saw some of my other um, hauls this season, you will know that I bought lots of rhinestones and, and sparkly things because that's just who I am. I, I'm, I love sparkle. Okay, so the final thing that she gave me was a set. It's a set of a necklace and earrings and then the little, and I'm sorry that I don't know what this is called, like right off the top of my head, but it's the little charm that hooks into your hair and, or onto your head or whatever, and then hangs down into the center of your forehead. And it's such a pretty, pretty look. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put all of this on. Although uh, this is this is a lot even for me, and so likely I will not wear all of this together, just because it seems like a little bit. It seems like a little bit much for me, and it seems a little in danger of <laughs> cultural appropriation, um, which I, I'm not really you know. 
I I'm comfortable with this stuff because especially because my sister-in-law gave it to me uh, it's the same thing with the the sort of Native American inspired um, jewelry which I also love the, I don't know I just think it's it's beautiful but I'm I'm pretty mindful of how much I put on because I'm not either of those things I'm not Native American and I'm not Indian and so um, you know, I just try to be mindful, respectful, etc. But in my mind, there's nothing wrong with appreciating the beauty of another culture's um, accessories, the things that they use to to celebrate things, and and the things that they wear to celebrate things, the things that they find are beautiful and and meaningful, and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. But this is. This is, I don't have, now if I was going to actually wear this, I would probably put a bobby pin right in here so that I can hook it over because it just has like a little, um, a little hook on it. And I don't have that, so we're just going to kind of jam it in there and, and hope it stays for, you know, a few minutes. <laughs> but I, I, there's something about this, this type of, look, it's kind of like the, the chains that link from uh, their nose ring into their ear. I just think that's beautiful, really, really beautiful. So for the the earrings, these are these are jump cut earrings. I think that's how you say it. I hope I'm saying that right. Don't come for me if I've slaughtered that. But these are really pretty. I love I love this kind of earring, and I have quite a few pairs of earrings that I purchased at the Indian festival. Um, oh gosh, it's been a year and a half now because last year, you know. COVID. So we didn't get to have those kinds of events, but these are, I love that all the colors in this, all the different colored um, stones. And gold is, I think, like, it, it's like a really important metal color, even though they have jewelry that is silver and copper and, and mixed metals and things like that. But there is something about uh, gold that is extremely meaningful in Indian culture. And so, you know, I, I, I have developed a fondness for gold jewelry in the last um, oh, year or so. I used to be strictly a, a silver jewelry wearer. I mean, silver colored anyway. And uh, let's see, let me show you first before I put it on the necklace, if I can. So again, really pretty. It's, um, it's got the cord in the back and the little adjustable bead that you just slide up and down to, you know, make it fit how you want it to fit. So we're going to go ahead and put this on. Hopefully, hopefully you can see that. All right, so there we go. There are all the pieces. And let me tell you, if you put this much jewelry on, this much Indian jewelry especially, and you don't feel like a princess, then you are doing something wrong. So like I say, this is a lot. I would not probably wear all three of these pieces together, but uh, it's, it's beautiful and I think I think what I plan to do is wear the necklace for sure with like a white, um, like a white collared shirt. And I think that would be super pretty, just like peeking out from underneath, um, you know, or the, the, the opening on the collar. I just think that would be so pretty because this has so many pretty like little colored stones in it and stuff. And it's very sparkly and it's got, again, a few of the the pearls going on and so I mean what's not to like right so this is this is beautiful it's all beautiful I'm beyond thrilled with the jewelry that my sisters-in-law sent me and uh, if you guys are watching this thank you so much I really really appreciate it all right I would have sworn that I had some other things um, to show you but you know I, I I'm gonna have to come back with those because I I don't remember which things I have already shown you, but I do have these, and I know I haven't showed you these because they're still on the card. 
These are from the rack. I picked these up at the rack. They were $9.97, which is a great price. And the thing that's kind of funny about these is that I saw them at one rack and I didn't buy them because the the feathers weren't even, if that makes sense. So like one earring was significantly shorter than the other earring. But this is what they look like. Feathers are one of those things that I don't love, 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 love on my earrings, but I'm kind of growing to appreciate them a little bit more. I liked that these were hmm, like like fluffier, almost like a marabou type of, of situation. And these are the Natasha brand, which I have shown quite a bit on my channel when it comes to my earring hauls. I think this is like my third, my third earring type haul video. Okay, this isn't really a haul because a lot of this was a, was gifts. But, so, there those are. And they don't, I mean, they don't weigh anything. They're, they're like weightless. Ah. But I love the, the sort of sparkle at the top and the fluffy feathers at the bottom. I don't know. I just think they're really, really pretty. I'm just going to leave those on because that is my last pair that I had to show you today for my my gifts and uh, the things that I had purchased. And I'm going to move into the shoes, the boots, etc. The first pair of boots that I have to show you I got from the Nordstrom Rack uh, website. So I did not buy these in person. I ordered them and it took forever to get them. I don't know why um, delayed. And then, I mean, I know things were super busy over the holidays and stuff, but I don't know. It's like they took a little side tour of, um, I don't know, Illinois or uh, somewhere. I'm not sure. Anyway, these are from the brand Chase and Chloe. And they are a tall boot, not super tall. Let me see if I can. Boots are super hard to show on camera, you know that? Um, these are synthetic and they are like a really pretty black and kind of a turquoisey blue snakeskin. Um, they are right at the upper limit of height as far as how high I can wear a shoe. And these were not very much. These were, I think, about $40. So these were really inexpensive. I have not worn these yet. Okay, another pair of boots that I got also from the Nordstrom Rack website were these over-the-knee boots. And these are from the brand, I think it's Journey or Journeys. I'm not sure about that. But these are an olive green synthetic. And these have the partial zip so they don't go all the way up. And they are a over the knee boot. They have um, a lace, lace up kind of detailing on the side. And I believe I paid about 16, 9, 75, something like that. So these were not super cheap. Um, I have not decided if I'm going to keep these. These are an eight and a half wide calf. And I don't have particularly wide calves, although sometimes it can be kind of helpful. But this brand in general has wide calf boots and extra wide calf and that sort of thing. So if you're, you know, like if you're a plus size gal and you are looking for some, some tall boots, some over the knee boots that will fit your calves, um, definitely check out the brand, this brand. Um, also, I think you can get like that. I mean, I don't know. They look exactly like a brand that I saw on Amazon, which I think is called Brinley. I will link everything, of course, that I can down below. My point is, is that they have a lot of wide and extra wide calf type boots. And I like this olive green color. Um, I'm not decided if I'm going to keep them because they are a little bit, a little bit too wide in the in the shaft and so I want to kind of wear them around my house a little bit and decide make sure that they don't like slouch too much that kind of thing 
wear them on their own or you know over tights or whatever wear them over jeans that kind of thing and just kind of see how it goes and that way if they seem like they're just a little bit too big I can return them all right another pair of boots that I got are these these are from naturalizer and they are like a they're suede and they have that kind of heel um, a relatively pointed toe and they have the partial zip on the inside hopefully you can see that and these are a oh they hit me right at the knee so these are a pretty tall boot these are not specifically um, wide calf I don't think but uh, I can't always wear a naturalizer shoe they tend to be a little bit narrow on me but these fit great and they're super comfortable and I love the suede I've been wanting a pair of uh, suede tall boots I have some that are like the smooth leather and I really like those but I wanted some suede ones okay the next pair of shoes that I have these are booties I think everything from now on is a booty and these are from Mia and this is I got an eight and a half and this is like a little short boot relatively high relatively pointy zip on the inside but these are really cute and very I've been wanting some short boots like this for a while and now I have like three pairs because <clears throat> I don't just buy one thing I have to buy 12 things anyway these are really really cute really uh, pretty comfortable I might have picked up a nine if I if they would have had it but I don't think they had a nine so I got an eight and a half I do have to wear kind of a thin sock with these at least for now these are relatively new but I have worn them several times and they're super cute I like the slightly Western look to them and I also like that they're really simple like the lines of them are really simple all right so the next pair of booties that I got also at the rack um, I did get a couple of things from Ross and I will show you those in just a sec but I have two other pairs of these shoes and I happened to see this color in the rack and they had an eight and a half but the ones that I already own are nines and so I really wanted a nine so it took me some some doing to <laughs> to locate an actual nine in these but um, they're super cute this is the brand uh, cork yeah, these are corks, um, and I paid $90, $89.97 for these, and I think that's about what I paid for the other pairs. I have a plain black and a brown, and I have worn the shit out of them for three years. I mean, I wear them all the time, and they're super comfortable. So I haven't worn these yet, so I have not broken them in or anything, but hopefully you can kind of tell that there is like a olivey green sort of aspect to these so even though it says that they are black I think the website said that they were distressed black or something like that and I was like I want those because I love that green cast to them I just think they're really cute and I'm thrilled to have another pair so I've got another pair from the rack that I picked up but I'm gonna save those and you'll see why here in a minute but I picked these up at Ross the other day and these are um, Catherine Catherine Maldronano I think that's how you say uh, her name and these the reason I bought these are that I liked the sort of lug sole aspect of of them I wish that the the heel um, the lug sole heel part of the boot um, was the same sort of rubbery type of situation that the the toe of it has um, so I'm not you know not thrilled about that and I don't love the sort of red white and blue little tag thing on the back but these are really comfortable and um, they have the the elastic goring on both sides so there's no zip on these but they're not at least they weren't difficult for me to get them on and I think I paid less than 20 bucks for these and they are um, they are like a faux a faux suede I think I don't maybe they're real I'm not sure uh, does it say it never says it never says anything on these things but uh, I think these are really cute and I'm thrilled that I found them oh they were on clearance did I mention that so yeah these were less than 20 bucks I got them on clearance which I was 
thrilled about. Another clearance shoe that I got at Ross are these ones. And these are from the brand Soda. And as you can see, they are kind of like a uh, combat style boot. And they are camo, green camo. And they lace up the front, but then they have a zip on the inside, which is great because then you can just adjust the ties once and then you just zip and unzip to get them on and off. I wore these the other day and again, super comfortable. Now I picked up a 10 in these because they only had the one pair and they were on clearance and so, you know, but I put them on and I was like, these are a pretty small 10 because I'm like, I'm pretty much an eight and a half or a nine kind of girl, but I do have to wear a little bit heavier sock with them, but they're not so big that they are dangerous or uncomfortable or anything like that. But I'm, I'm super happy with, I just think they're so cute. All right, one more pair of boots from Ross. These were $25 and these are the brand Indigo Road. Yeah, these are the brand Indigo Road. I still have the tag on them. So I have not worn these, but these are like a little Western booty, like a little short Western super pointed toe. And they've got the um, elastic goring in them, which is really nice. Um, because if things don't have either enough room or this elastic goring on them, then they can get kind of painful around your ankle and stuff when you're walking. Super cute. I hope they're, I hope they're comfortable and I like having, um, I like Western style boots anyway. I don't have any like proper ones like fry boots or, you know, I don't have anything like that, at least not yet because they are hella expensive. Okay, I have one more pair of booties to show you and I I definitely, I wanted to wait <laughs> and save these for last because they are definitely the um, fanciest. And I have absolutely no idea where I am going to wear these. These are the brand Steve Madden. I got them for $89.97. They were originally $110. See, my camera can't even focus. It's it's overwhelmed like I am. Are those not the most beautiful? The thing I like about these is that they have the heel of them is wide, but from the side it looks not like a stiletto, but like a thinner heel. And I really like that because that means it looks, because it looks like that, but it's made like this, it's way easier to walk in. And it just, uh, you know, I couldn't wear these if they were a stiletto. I just, I couldn't wear them. They would be too high and I just don't wear stiletto shoes at all, period. But these are, these are glory, these are like, these are better than sex. Maybe not all sex, but some. <laughs> but these are so, so, so pretty. I have no idea where I'm going to wear them. And I, and I honestly, I don't care. I don't care. But I'm going to wear them somewhere. I'm thinking, you know, just with... Uh, the thing about stuff like this that's super sparkly, glam over the top is that I like to pair it with things that are super casual, not like sloppy sweatpants kind of casual, but like ripped jeans kind of casual, um, or something that are like uh, faux leather pants or something like that. That's just a little bit, I don't know, edgier or, or something with a shoe like this, which is so uber fancy that I just, I like to do that. I like to put a pretty frilly white shirt with denim or um, something really sparkly with you know ripped denim or uh, black leather or something like that but I just think I, I don't know if I have to wear these to the effing grocery store in order to wear them that's what I'm gonna do I just got my fingers crossed that we're all gonna be able to you know do a few more things go a few more places see friends and family and stuff that we haven't been able to to see in the last year this will be this will be a celebratory shoe 
when we get to do that. I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Thanks so much for joining me on my little Christmas gift haul and shoe and boot haul. And I personally really like haul videos. And especially if, if the person doesn't, you know, go on too much about <laughs> everything. Hopefully I didn't do that. But I definitely want you to get a good look at them and know the prices of them and where I got them and that sort of thing. So that in case you want to look for them yourself, I will link things if I can. But if you want to look for, for these things yourself at your local Rosses and Nordstrom racks and things like that, then, then maybe you will be able to find them. I certainly hope so because I think they're super cute. And so far, the things that I have worn, um, the shoes that I have worn, the boots that I have worn, uh, are super comfortable. So I'm I'm really happy about that. I think that is going to do it for today, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate your time here. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, ring the bell, because I do upload several videos a week. And until my next video, bye guys.